everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So we've arrived in the system now and uh, the mod is still working away. Helopolis is back and ready to go. Let's go to the mech base here real quick. I got a couple of minor things. So let's bring the Helopolis back up. We're going to run with that today. We got a mission we we need probably going to need this on. So um, I did make a one minor change to the Cephalus. So when we arrived in system, they had a rocket 10 pack in the store. So I bought that. Uh, they also had a... Um, heat bank which I bought as well but it's not in any mech right now I just put it in the storage also a couple of half tons of uh, SRM ammo so we've got those as well but I made a minor change here I pulled out the um, B pod that we had in here because we weren't really using it we weren't getting any benefit out of it so I put a rocket a bolt-on rocket 10 in here um, to replace the the uh, rocket 10 that we had here which was a half a ton and then what I did was I pulled a medium laser I put the I put a uh, small laser blaze fire. I know it's got a jam chance, but it does almost the same amount of damage, almost the same amount of range, and that's fine because we're usually darting in and out anyway. So if it jams, hopefully it's jamming on the way out and not on the way in. Um, and then I dropped a tag that we picked up yesterday in here. I figured this thing's probably going to get some good use of out of being able to tag mechs, so um, that's why I dropped that in there. Hopefully this will help everybody out. Um, the uh, the rattlesnake has got the um, the um, narc beacon on it, so I figure we might as well have something on this guy as well. So when they're both running in tandem, the tag will hit, the narc will hit, and that'll give us all a good chance to hit, hopefully. So we're gonna run with this today. Uh, let's have a look at the barracks. We do have some pilot skills that can go up, I think. So granted, we we brought up last time we brought his guts up. Griff, good to go. we got the ability to bring his gunnery up, so we're gonna go up here, but we're gonna do uh, warlord for him. Uh, to gain the plus one accuracy called shot mul multiplier because um, we want him to be targeting specific uh, locations as opposed to reducing his recoil. So we'll go with Warlord and confirm that guy. Training complete. Way to go, Griff. Yay! Standing Much by. fanfare. And we're still waiting for Killjoy here. So that's fine. And then Lethal. Uh, I think we're good leaving you as you are. For now, Mothman. I wait your command. Um, he ended up getting a um, an event that's given him assassin for 90 days, so that's why he's got assassin now plus the OP accuracy. So hopefully we can get some good shots off with that Gauss rifle. I don't know, maybe maybe not. But we're gonna save his XP. Gonna go up gunnery tree. Ramilo, uh, let's go with some tactics. Get better sensors, better initiative. So it was a good thing. And then, uh, I'm here. we're still waiting. We're going to go gunnery. Well, we'll see how we go. I don't know, maybe tactics. We'll see what we do here. Stand She's by. getting pretty maxed already uh, anyway. So, all right. So, Sturm, I think we're waiting for gunnery for you. Where we, I mean, we were thinking about possibly building you, building you into a, um, a, uh, melee guy, but I don't think we're doing that now. I think we want to go with a massive firing platform. Right? Mostly ballistic stuffs. So, that's why we have this hard case. It's nice to have the reduced stability because he's probably going to be standing on one location for a fair bit of time in a heavy mech. So, let's just hold on to it for now. We're going to go after gunnery, I think. Commander. Taser face finally got the gunnery up, but we were going to go with phantom mech. So, we're going to take this one uh, and we're going to go with phantom right yes absolutely let's confirm that Training before I have second thoughts I think that's probably the best way to go keep her alive longer in that mech it's so light and then Zephyr we don't really have to worry about right now because he's not in anything uh, we'll raise his skills up if we need to later on okay so that looks pretty good um, let's go to the command center and there's a few missions here I want to take, but there's one I want to take today. We're going to go straight into this guy here. It's a good payout. It's three skulls against the local government, so hopefully it's relatively easy. Good sea bill payout, good um, salvage payout, which is nice. And then I think the next next episode we'll probably take the attack and defend, um, and we may leave out the um, the Helopolis and go with the five lighter mechs and see how this one runs at. Uh, uh, two and a half skulls. It should be well. Maybe we shouldn't leave it out. It should be interesting because there's a lot of lances that drop, right? We got one at the beginning, and then I think they get three more drops. So there could be a lot of guys. 
So that could be a good potential salvage um, haul there, depending on what we get. And who is it against here? Uh, local government. So, I mean, I can't, you know, it's not no guarantee we're going to get some good max, but I want to take, take this one today because I want to make sure we get we have enough for our financial report. So let's go ahead and negotiate this. And let's go 315. Let's get that juicy million, I think. Yeah, the payout's almost identical to what we need for the financial report. I mean, we could go with the extra 400,000, but I think the extra extra salvage option is not bad if we get some good max down here. So let's accept that. And then I think we have um, our guys stored here, don't we? Primary? Is that you? It is. So that's the Holopolis, Sturm, Killjoy's back in the Wolverine, right? So we want in the Wolverine, yes. Um, and Sturm is in the Holopolis where he should be, perfect. Got the Cloudbuster, which we're not running. We are running the Nidhogg, right? And then um, Lance B has got the SM1, correct. So let's save this again. And I guess it's got to be... Hopefully it overwrites. Looks like it does. Let's just make sure. Yep, it does. Beautiful. Command interface initiated. So I think there was a bit of a giveaway at the start here. I started hearing rotor blades, so there might be copters here. Or VTOLs. So, um... Maybe just one lance, or it could be lance with reinforcements. It's a pretty small battlefield, so, well, I guess it really isn't. Half decent size. How do we want to approach this? Um, yeah, let's come down this way. I think we're good. Hopefully they have reinforcements. It's nice when I have seven guys if I'm a little outnumbered. Or if they got a really good strong main lance. Let's find out. So I got somebody... Oh yeah, so they do have reinforcements. Not local government forces, eh? Unknown mercenary force. <laughs> Intruding on a joint local government and local government operation. Pair of local government forces. I guess they're from two different towns or something. Who knows? Alright, so that's a ultralight LRM carrier. Ferret. Yeah, so not much. Bandit B is not bad. Quick draw. Okay. Hetzer could be a problem. And there's two others that we can't see. Well. Order. Time for you to do your job. Let's go find out what we're up against. Oof. Can we though? Let's get down here. Get down here. Well, it might only be those. Maybe. Enemy allied forces. Wow, this could be really bad. Like, I was really hoping for more. I mean, it's probably good I didn't choose full, like, full salvage on this. Oh yeah, there's another... That's the bandit. Huh. Interesting. Let's get over here. Roger that. Give them something to shoot for. Oh, we got something else over here. Hunchback. Okay, that's a little better. 23. 20. 18. 4. Let's take this shot. If we, if we, if we hit, it's dead, so... Target confirmed. Not today. Pretty close, though. This isn't going on my permanent record, is it? It will be. I expected you to hit that shot. Dock in pay. Okay, that was the head, sir. Okay, it's approaching. Awaiting orders. Um. 
Get the Wolverine oh, down yeah. here. If that grasshopper decides to come forward, I want the Wolverine there to be able to act as a uh, shield against it. Take a pot shot with the laser on this guy. Ooh, heavy rocket launcher fives, eh? It's not a bad loadout. Failed to connect. Which version are you? Three missile. No. I wonder if they're like SRMs or something. Uh, let's get this murder bot in here. Start getting your speed up. Maybe you can go score over and blow a hole in the back of that hunchback. Oh man, I love this thing. Alright, we didn't do too bad with evasion, but we don't... I mean, with Phantom Mech it would have been two more, which is nice. We could just send it in here. Okay, what do you got? A pair of ultras? So it's a quick sell. I mean, it could be ultra fives or ultra twos. Interesting. Aye, aye. All right, it's gonna take at least a turn to get down there. So let's move over here. Confirmed. Okay, who do we want to get first here? Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five. Thirty-seven. I think we're going to shoot the Hunchback in the behind, though. What have we got on this guy? 15. Eh. Let's see if we can hit the, um... Bandit. Locked on. Nope. Not today. Negative damage. I repeat. Negative damage. All right, Steve. I hear ya. Uh, let's get you down here. Going turbo. I was gonna try to shoot, but then you know me, I probably put one right in the back of the of the uh, Wolverine. So let's not do that. <laughs> Ready for orders. Hi, right, Sturm boy. Sturm Tiger. Affirmative. Just gonna do the same thing. Get everybody under the AMS here. Let's drop some rounds on this guy. Start softening him up. He's got lots of HP, so. All right, now we can get into the battle. So this turn is finished. Oh, Marshall. That's 50 tons, right? Yeah, it's a 50 tonner, I think. See if he's going to fire. He probably is. Thanks for showing up, buddy. I think most people know that you don't fire... Like a minor amounts of missiles against the Nidhogg, it's just a waste of shot. Commander? Unless you've got more guys shooting out, like, missiles out at the same guy right afterwards, there's no point in even doing it. Um, let's get the Wolverine into here. It's within Grasshopper range, but I don't know if he's gonna try and... I mean, he might try and melee. Not bad. Garbage. Let's just shoot this guy. Let's just shoot him. Get some sensors over there. Yeah, swarm, why not? Giving him everything I've got. Nice. Big one hit. Yes. Enjoy it, my friend. Well, you ain't really my friend. That's another guy? That's not the marshal. An Enfield. Okay. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. There we go. I thought that was nine, but I can't count. So there you go. Really want that Nidhog. Yes, Commander. It's interesting they're targeting priorities. Uh, just for now. Roll to that. Just for now. We're in good striking distance of a lot of stuff here, so... Take a pot shot against this guy. We're gonna fire it all because... a uh, damn. Hold on to the boltons, though. Hopefully the tag hits. Nope. Not today. Keep stripping his armor, though. Just gonna walk it down here. Get in the trees. And go after the, uh... 
This guy here. Make him think twice about running into our, our fire here. Okay, good damage. What can I do for you? Okay, Griff, get over here. Max speed, no shooting. Same target. Let's let that Wolverine take lead. He's got way more armor than you. Some cluster rounds. This guy looks like he's light on armor. We had a thousand, but he's taking a few good hits now, so. Alright, not bad. Better than you've done in the past. I'm ready. Hmm. He's unstable. Let's get into here. I know it's going to expose us a little more to the enemy than I'd really like, but this guy, that's a lot of invasion too, but this guy's like super unstable and we can really capitalize on the attack here, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Confirm. Nice. When does he go? On 11. When does our Helopolis go? I gotta kill that thing too. On 8, so he's gonna go before the Hello. Although the SM1 should go before this guy. Wait a minute. I smell cheat. If that Hetzer went, it should have been our turn next. Because he went on 11. We go on 11, and then he would have gone. That's a cheat. That's how it's always been in the past. Cheaters! 48%. Um, 42. Take the side shot. Let's do it. Oh boy, here we go. Blow through this guy, then go after that hunchback, alright? Let's just uh, make sure we land this first shot. Crank these to five. Here it comes. I hope he's good. Looks like they both he's hit. Up. Okay, he's got double AC5s. Okay. So the double AC5, if you're not sure, is like the cheap knockoff of the uh, Ultra 5. It just fires two shots. Either they both hit or they both miss. Kind of an interesting weapon. Once again, I gotta say that I, th I find the quick sell stuff is pretty well balanced, right? There's advantages to it and there's disadvantages to it, and they kind of just they. It's just you have to decide what what you want, right? Whereas I found with the pirate weapons, it was like Orders. you know any advantage was negated by them jamming on you or or breaking all together and stuff. It's like yeah, they're good for a little while, but then that's it. Like they're just useless, right? So. There's no point. All right, let's just pace this guy. Engage. Knock his ass down. That's it for him. Ah, shit, upper recoil destroyed. It would've been nice to have that. The quick sell versions of the upper recoil aren't that bad. They're a little weightier than the regular versions, but they do exactly the same job. All right, he's got one health left, so he might be able to just plink his head. As much as I want to keep the... Uh, SM1 there just to shoot him with machine guns and hopefully hit him in the head. We're gonna go after that hunchback. I can't have this guy shooting at us. The GK, I don't know if that's... Oh, he's got a missile launcher tube. So this is probably an AC-10. Enfield... The Hetzer. It's the Kalayama version. Which is bad. It's like 120 damage. So we gotta mur as soon as that guy gets down this hill, we've gotta murder him like with extreme prejudice. Okay, who's up here? 16? Hunchback? Yeah. Oh, he's backing up. Yeah, you know what's good for you. Looks like he missed with almost everything. Well that was 12 damage with the pulse laser, so is that a is that a clan pulse? I think he's sniffing out Taserface getting close too.
Yeah, I don't know about this because of that uh, the marshals here too, right? I, it's a nice idea, but I don't think it's the right idea. Yeah, the ferret's pretty much expended its its shot here. It's not going to give me enough, so let's go and use our skill. Confirm. Now we'll go here. Good to go. Still only got four, though. Shouldn't we get plus two? Is it plus plus two max, isn't it? I'm a dork. Firing. Okay, tag's on. That'll help for next turn when we dart in. Taking his sweet time. Ready for orders. Mm, do I want you on? No, I want you to keep moving fast. Oh, Jesus, that turret was hit really bad. Or the rotor. So I'm finding certain areas of certain vehicles are getting hit way more frequently than others. I don't know if the advances that they've made to some of the code have like messed with other things. So the rotors I find when I'm shooting at um, aircraft and when I'm being shot at get hit quite frequently. It's the same with the amount of headshots I'm finding it's just more than normal. Okay, you can cut it out now. Why are you telling him to cut it out? Well, somebody's got swarm ammo. What do you need? All right, we got a shot at that uh, head, sir. Let's move up and take the shot. I know the guy on the ground. This guy is going to be a real big problem for us if we don't take care of him now, though. Um. Use control bursts, drop some recoil, just so we can apply damage to him again next turn without having to worry about jamming. Hits his own guy. Way to go, champ. I wish you'd hit the guy in the head, though. Good to go. Can you get a shot at the head, sir? You can. But I think I want you on the guy on the ground. Good leg damage, but let's see if we can get a plink on the head. See ya. Leg gone, ammo explosion, and he's dead. Okay. Cord him. All right, time to start pushing the guys in the flank here. Time to start pushing these guys. Special delivery. It's nice to be able to shoot all my weapons and not have to worry about uh, heat now. Those freaking desert wolves, man, I tell you. Uh, let's get you... Twenty-seven percent. Six chevrons of evasion. It's pretty nice, but see, can we get you in? We can. It's a little less chance to hit, but it puts us out of the range or the out of the uh, sight of the marshal, which I think I want, because if he can't see us directly, he's most likely to shoot indirect again. It's still a better chance to hit though. Now, excellent. We'll fire on this guy. All right. All right, we got one that hit. Like a critical hit. Yeah, it did. Aye, aye. That looked like he shit himself. Confirmed. Okay. 
Same thing, fire everything at this guy. Roger that. Nice, the big one hit. Alright, sensors are up. Not a bad spread, too. Not a bad spread if I do say so myself. Bandit, what are you doing? I think he's running three SRMs. Pretty sure that's three SRM sixes. I don't think it is sixes, actually. Bandits are a weird thing because they've got like minimum. It's a two and two fours, so it's an SRM 10. Yeah, not bad. They've got very minimum weapons, the uh, bandits. Good armor, but. And good speed, just minimal weapons. But it's a, that's another great example of a good back striking ma uh, vehicle. You know? Just dart in, get behind somebody, fire a whole bunch of stuff off, and then dart out the next round. Alright, um. Let's get on this hunchback. Pulling off. What's our evasion this time? Still only four. We didn't go that far though. I'm gonna go with all the rockets so see if we can blow through this guy and just take him out. So he's gonna LBX-10. Oh, it is a clan. It is a clan, uh, mech. So I'm gonna reevaluate this thing. Let's try that. Let me turn these off. Okay, tags on. Might be able to pull the legs out the hunchback. I think the hunchback's got pretty heavy armor on the legs though. Okay, let's get into here. On my way. I'm not moving much because I want to give that marshal an indirect target. I'm gonna fire on this guy. Firing on target. Yes, that was nice shooting. Gotcha. Okay, Kalayama, out of the way with. He did not take the target I gave him, but whatever. Damage is light. Do you want to take him on? I hear you. I'll give him to you if you want. Can I get a side shot at that hunchy? I cannot. But let's move into here. Got it. We're going to go to that vehicle, I no think. Shooting. And then we can get up beside the hunchback next turn. Yeah, we should be able to take this guy out. Uh -huh. Yep, yeah, there you go. Popped him like a zit. Did you see that? Did you see it? I saw it. It's two vehicles this turn. That's nice. So I got an Enfield in my uh, um, Hellspawn Lance B for the Battle Report series. Lance B is the only Lance I'm actually running in this next yes, battle. Commander. So hopefully when they get into combat, I'll be able to, to show you the battles for that for that Lance. It's a pair of, um, it's 350, 450 tonners. It's uh, two Enforcers, an Enfield, and a Trebuchet. It's kind of a nice, it's kind of a nice um, uh, loadout based around the, the primary enforcer with an Ultra 5, or, no, or a, I'm uh, sorry, a, a Rack 5. Affirmative. But they got butchered in the last, um, they got butchered in the last battle we did. It was a uh, lunar battle, and I ended up facing, I think it was like five Nidhogs, and like, I can't remember what it was. Uh, the, the battle's up on the, on the, on my YouTube site. Go and check it out in the Battle Reports um, playlist. But yeah, we got we got brutalized really really badly. Uh, but now it's like we're we're in, we're in the next campaign, so my mechs have been rebuilt. I've uh, rebuilt the trebuchet as an SRM version, so that should be interesting to see how that works. All right, we're gonna shoot at this guy. Actually, we're not gonna shoot at this guy. I want to save that guy. We want to try and pull that leg. I think. Let's take a shot at the bandit. Confirm. Nice one hit. Out of long-range missiles. That's right. 
Receiving you. You're doing your job. Okay, you can take on everybody else. Helopolis against the other four. We'll work on taking the hunchback's legs. This guy can take everybody else. He's got the armor for it. Uh, let's go after this guy. Roger. Pull out the 80 damage SRMs. Oh, no. oh, actually, 100 damage if it gets into it. Okay, question is now, do I do... No. Let's... Oh, man, really? He's going on two. We don't have anybody left, though. That's our last guy here. And he could just decide to come and step on us. But the chance to hit is so juicy. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. And it puts us in a good striking position for next turn. Like, if we want to go after these guys, we can. So let's do it this way. I'm going to turn these up one more to go all out with the machine guns. We don't have a lot of ammo, but that's fine. And then let's go after his leg. Like this. And hopefully we get some crits on it and reduce his chance to move. No crits. But that's fine. Stripped a bit of the armor. Nothing nothing to stability, but down to 22. Is he gonna step or fire? Firing. Ooh, he's firing at him, eh? I'm okay for now. Just stay at range and you'll be just fine. Okay, the hunchback's moving to protect his leg so he can't get in to kick yeah. it, it looks like. What do you want to do? Take on the Enfield? What do you think? I'm liking the loadout and the Talos. I was never really a big fan of the Talos. But with this loadout, I'm actually not minding. I mean, I'd love to have some clan LRMs here because this thing is really not that fast. And it would be nice to be able to just stay at range and constantly pummel people with the weapons. So if we get a couple of clan LRMs that we could drop in there, that would be kind of nice. But the SRM4s, I mean, the SRMs, um, having like 10 barrels isn't bad at close range. Do some good stability damage, some good splash damage, so... Alright, now, um... Where can we get to? Let's start away from that hunchback for now. Let's just get into here. On the move. Full speed. We'll come back here in a second. I just want to make sure we keep up our uh, as much evasion as we possibly can. Boltons. Boltons. Uh, let's just hold on to them for when we go back. Standing by. Alright, you. Now, can you get... We can't get... We can stay on this side, though. So if we come in with... Uh, we don't have enough speed for a kick attack. Move into here. Move order confirmed. This hunchback didn't move very far, so we're going to go after his leg again. Don't care how low the chance is. It. Oh, that's pretty damn good. All right, let's turn you off. Let's turn you off because we got too much people, too many people around. We'll be splashing ourselves here, so let's just do that. Copy that. I could go with the SRM six, but I don't want to splash and destroy that arm. I want to try and keep as much on this guy as what possible. Can I do for you? Same idea. Coordinates received. Should be able to pop that leg, I think. What's it got left? Three? That's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Let's hope we get lucky with the medium lasers. Got it. There you go. Another hit like that. Oh, uh, he's pretty much toast now. Okay, he's got two hit points Order. left. Once again, we'll Rolling. just move over here. I mean, the bonus of having the Goss Rifle on this thing is we can shoot from range and don't have to really close if we don't want to. Locking target. I mean, we're not really doing damage, but it gives them somebody else to shoot for and gives us ability to at least shoot at them. Hey. Now, as much as I want to use the Ultra 20 on this guy... No, 
99% chance to hit. It's such a lot of damage that we'd have to we'd have to hit them both in the one leg. Otherwise, we blow this arm off, risk blowing the torso up. So let's not risk it. Um, we've got this guy in a good position. There's no point in like risking destroying all our juicy salvage. Let's um, let's get this marshal dropping a friggin' load in his pants. Either that, or we can try and kill this guy. 19%. So maybe not. 27 on the marshal. Yeah, we'll be land one shot. It'd be nice. Uh, let's dial the machine guns back to three, though. Just gonna do that now so we know. That way we've got three turns of firing left. Roughly. Nothing. Couple machine gun hits. Ooh, head hit. Beautiful. It's always nice to see. Especially when it's not against me. Alright, not bad. Took a hard hit there. That yeah, 40 hit, damage. Commander. Yep. 40 damage is nothing to sneeze at. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. Not even bother moving. Attacking from position. Nope, we just don't have the firepower to kill this guy in one shot. Not from the front anyway, or from the side. Unless we hit, unless everything went onto the back, there's just really no way. Yep, move it in. Come on, bring it in, baby. Okay, so he's firing They're shooting at me. ballistic, but he's only got three lasers, so he must have a handheld rifle or something. No, he does have a ballistic. I just missed it last time when I was looking at him. All right, buddy. How's your day going? Not very good, it seems. Looks like you hit, but I don't think you did. Should have gone with cluster. Should have gone with cluster. You may hit the rotor. Moving to position. Getting that juicy evasion up. Same guy. Target lock on enemy six. There you go. Don't know where that hit. Probably the turret. Yep. Because of course it would be the turret. It's got more armor than the back. Who's up? 23. Ferret? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Bring it in. Does he not have anything left? Energy hard point. Tag, maybe? Okay, let's get you around here. Moving I'm gonna to walk position. it around. Got enough resolve, so let's, uh... Start going after this leg. I don't like using the cluster rounds, but I think we're close enough that it won't cluster, so let's see. Firing on target. No, it does. Damn it. Well, it's probably better that it did. Yes, Commander. Okay, you. Same idea. It's close. Double time. Get massive evasion. Alright, same idea. Ooh, two hits in the leg. That's nice. Panicking. Waiting for orders. Hopefully he goes to unstable. That'd be nice. Um, marshal or yeah, let's go for the better chance to hit. We'll just go after the marshal here. Make him a little worried. All right, one ballistic and one missile hit. Standing by. Let's see if we can gank this guy. Gotcha. I'm really hoping they start shooting for the guys that aren't moving. Ooh, that's nice. Yes, Commander. I'm really hoping they start shooting for the guys that aren't moving, because like we're that's what they're there for. Roger that. To be shot at now. I know these two guys are too really close together. 
We're gonna get clustered by the uh, marshal again, but see what happens. Oh, we just do it all. Just go for it. Target confirmed. Oh, two, two leg hits. Not quite enough. Scored a critical hit. Unsteady. He's not gonna bail out. I'm here. How much has he got left in the leg? We might be able to machine gun it. Seventeen. Um, there's no way we're getting 17 machine gun hits on that leg. So let's go and do something else. Can't get up the hill. Because of course we can't. We can go around this way. If you say so. Might as well take a pot shot at this ferret. Or not. Let's drop our recoil instead. <laughs> Probably the smarter move. All right, AMS still working well. Damage looks light, Commander. Ooh, got eleven of them. Nice. All right, what's this hunchback gonna do? That's much the question. That's the big question. There you go. The guy you want to shoot at. Forget the other guys. Not much armor left in that location. Really? Can't be that bad. Unless you're both in the same spot. Even then, you should still have lots of armor left. Yeah, good luck with hitting the cephalus, buddy. Oh, look at you limping around. So we're going to take that shot, are you? Should really be shooting the guys right in front of you. You know, the guys that you have a really easy chance to hit. Where did you get hit? Torso. How did you. What do you mean, not a lot of armor left in that location? Dude, how much armor do you want? 21. Okay, this guy. He's gonna flank us, attack us from behind with a tag, probably. Or he might be going after the Nidhog, we'll see. Maybe I'll stick the Nidhogg on, on on this turn. I think the uh, the anti-air missiles might work really well against this thing, so we'll, we're going to try that out this turn. Now, you heard me talking and he's flying away. He's like, fuck, you're going to do that, are you? I'm out of here. That's metagaming, buddy. That's metagaming. Um, as much as I want to use you... I can't go on 11. What do you two go on? 12 and 10. You know what? Let's, um... Let's not open the Cephalus up to attack. <laughs> let's get into here. I want to end this vehicle, so let's go do it. Yeah, I went through the geothermal, it's fine. That's fine. Don't mind being a little warm. Use everything on this guy, see if we can finish him off. For an there we go. Smoked one. Excellent. No short range missiles remaining. That's all right, you don't need them. You don't need them. Oof, you can't keep hitting like that. I know I gave you as a target, but it's not very nice. Receiving you. Not very nice at all. Alright, let's put you not in the geothermal, but over here. Spot it. Get a bit of evasion going now. What, two chevrons? Not bad. And we'll target this guy. Missiles are up. Ah, you know what? I meant to change out the half ton of uh AMS ammo we have for yep, the SRMs for the half ton of ammo I picked up in the store. Standard SRM ammo. Let's go chase this guy down. Full speed! I don't know what would be more satisfying. The uh, light AA missile rack hitting this guy or the Gauss rifle. Because the light AA we rarely ever use or hit with anything so it would be nice to shoot him down with that. Only got 10 in the backside. Let's find out. Rear armor it is. 
Nothing. What now? Okay. Let's go up here. You want to shoot me with an AC-10 and a large laser? How about an Ultra-20? Coming for you! Yeah. Yes. This guy's completely unstable. Did we do gyro damage to that They're guy or something? At me. What's his... What's his deal? Why is he so bad? Aye, aye. Okay. Affirmative. Let's get that leg. Let's get that leg for some juicy clan gear. Do that. Leave the large off. Just go with the mediums. Hopefully we get it. Yep. We get the torso off for fuck's sakes, Next really? Destroyed. All that time yep, we man. spend trying to make sure we can get some salvage off it, and then you just 25 damage blows through everything? Go fuck yourself. God damn it. <laughs> Let's just hammer this guy. Put these on. Get as much damage into this guy as we can. It. Oof, that's a lot of missiles. How you doing, buddy? I think I hit something good. Size bleeding out. Or out. Alright, let's get back into the fight over here. Alright. Same guy. Let's bring the marshal down. I'm gonna save the boltons for the other guy. Oof, this guy's like lost almost all his weapons. Roger that. Oof. Correction, he's lost everything. Enemy down. I guess I, it looked like he said severed his arm. Christ, those crit tables remind me of playing Rollmaster. My god. What a horrific thing. It was always so scary whenever someone got a crit on you. So if you guys never never played Rollmaster, think of it like D&D, &D, right? Except with using D instead of using D20s, you're using percentile dice. And if you roll um, a 96 to 100 on your attack roll, you get to roll again and add it on. And if you roll between 96 and 100 again, you get to roll again and add it on. So the higher you get your roll, the more damage you're going to do overall, right? So most of the time you're doing like, you know, a little bit of damage and maybe like a low end critical. But if you get a massive hit on somebody... It's brutal. Like, the amount of damage you can actually do on somebody is absolutely brutal if you get a really, really good hit. Like, a really good roll. And... But even the lightest, like... So if you do damage to somebody, right, you bypass, like, you hit, the, hit them, you know, and depending on your armor value, like, so if you hit an armor value one target with, like, a percentage roll of, let's say, 75, so armor value one is, like, no armor, right? So if you hit them... And you do like a 75 Wait might forward. do like, I don't know, let's just say for the sake of argument it does, you know, 20 points of damage and a C critical. Well, the same guy in plate mail, that's armor value of 20, which is the max armor value, right? In full plate, you might only do like one point of damage to, or you might do nothing, right? So it's it's a like a, a, a massive um, difference. So, but I'm even if like, let's say, ooh. I don't know what would have been more satisfying, the missiles or the enemy the goss, but getting both at the same LRM. time just exceeded all of my expectations. Oof. So anyway, yeah, so the crit system, right? So when you roll attack on somebody, depending on your weapon type, you get different criticals, right? So there's slash criticals for like swords by. and stuff, puncture criticals for, for like arrows and daggers and stuff, and then... Um, crush criticals for like maces and war hammers Roger that. Um, and then there's all different types of crit tables based on you know things that you're being attacked by like heat electricity cold um, 
you know, horn, there's like the trample stomp table. So there's all different Firing kinds of crit tables. <laughs> so the criticals are all different based on the type of attack that you get attacked by. So if someone shoots an arrow at you and gets an A crit, right, they can still kill you regardless of how, like, how small the crit was and how small the initial damage was. So like, let's say you're facing like a 20th level fighter or something, you get an amazing roll and you get like, you know, eight points of damage and an A crit and you roll a really, really high crit on a crit roll, which is a percentage roll. It's not modified by anything, you just generally roll it, right? So if you get like a really high roll, like we did against, we were playing first level guys and we, we fought like an eighth level ranger. Anyways, a friend of mine put a round, uh, a bow round through the ranger's legs, through the ranger's legs, sorry, his upper thigh, severed an artery and the ranger bled out in like, I don't know how many turns, but he just like, but he was ineffectual until he, he died. He couldn't do anything. Um, so he just, right. he was just trying to like stop himself from bleeding to death, but couldn't do it and then ended up dying. So like, there's things like that where it's like, you know, if you roll like on an A critical, if you roll a hundred crit roll, um, you could instantly kill somebody by, from a headshot, right? The, the crit tables is what really made the, the combat in that game because it made the whole thing unpredictable, right? You could get hit um, by a really, really hard hit and take almost no crit damage because you roll really low in the crit table. Um, but anytime you take a crit, you always had to worry because you never knew how bad it was going to be, how lucky the opponent was going to get on their crit roll, you know? Uh, I'm not going to take my chances with this guy. Let's just back up. There's no point running the risk of losing anybody here. I'm receiving you. Yeah, but the crit tables were always the best. Like we were all we always like it didn't matter if they were against you or not. We always wanted to see what they were gonna be. So it was just just amazing. And then like depending on your weapon type, so if you had like like a sword but it was like a flaming sword. The weapon could do, like, nice leg damage. Why can't you do this earlier in the match? You know, you, if you had a flaming sword, you would do slash damage, but you would also do heat damage, so you could get double crits. So a slash crit and a, and a heat crit. I can't get up that hill? Apparently not. Why am I... so slow? Is it the ice? Am I On missing something here? I'm not overheating. Oh well, whatever. Um, let's just try for the kill. We're gonna get salvage from the uh, hunchback. I don't want salvage from these guys. There we go. Ah, we're on an XL. Beautiful. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, so 904,000, that's beautiful. There's our financial report. Now we now we can afford to mess around a little bit here. So not that bad of damage. I'm interested, though, why the Wolverine could barely move at that last turn. We didn't take any leg damage, so I'm not exactly sure what the deal was. Maybe it was the fact that we were on ice. I don't know. I know the Wolverine really isn't that fast, but, it, I mean, it's got it's faster than that. All right, so lots of banded parts, Enfield parts, but I think we want to go down and find that juicy clan gear, whatever is here. A couple of light AA missile racks. LB-10X clan is not bad. That would actually kind of be nice on the um, Marauder. Because it originally had an LBX as well, but it, I mean the Inner Spirit LBX is um, 11 tons, not 10. I think this has got more range to it, but we would have to take ammo with it too, so that's the other thing. Uh, the exchanger. Ooh, that's a pretty nice piece of gear. It's just a regular one, though. Let's just drop it there for now. Flak fire control system, guard dog, double heat sink kit. We needed that for sure. So we didn't get... I guess we must have really blew up that uh, hunchback. Which really sucks, because I spent all that time... 
trying my best to make sure we got the most amount of salvage out of it, and we just botched it. I mean, there wasn't much I could have done about it, but it's still, it's so sad when things like that happen. Two endo steel. We got one. Endo we can get anywhere, though. Maybe we do take the clan LBX-10. It really is the only good piece of clan kit that's left over. But this exchanger... I mean, with the double heatsink kit, the exchanger... And maybe we use the LBX-10 in the torso of the Marauder. As opposed to the Ultra-5. Then we could build... A relatively heavy laser arm build. Like maybe it's four large lasers. I don't know, we'd have to look at the Marauder again, but def the double heatsink is a must, the exchanger's a must, and I, I guess we have to go with that. But let's see what we get mech part-wise. So a band of piece, okay, that's a start. And then we got like one of everything here. No big deal. Double AC5, yeah, that's the quick seller thing I was telling you about. 15% misfire chance. Recoil of four. But it fires twice, so either they both hit or they both miss, right? Yeah, fires two shots and hits or miss with, misses with both. But the misfire chance is, like, nasty. The recoil is pretty bad, too. Yeah, so this is one of those weapons that I probably would just say no to. Although it's only seven tons. That's the thing. It's, it's like, there's your trade-off, right? The range is good, right? The recoil is high. The misfire chance is relatively high. But you can, mit you can mitigate it with gunnery. You get down to about 3% or something like that if you got bonus gunnery stuff. So that's not too bad. The recoil you can mitigate later in like in later game. Firing two shots, if you have a good chance to hit, you're guaranteed to hit with both of them. Doing 90 damage. And it's only 7 tons. Heat's 10. It's actually not, I mean, it, it, once again, it's a trade-off, right? It's just a, a, it's a very, like it's an alt weapon. Light AA missile rack will hang on to. I don't think we can use it for anything. It's a bolt-on weapon, but I think it. I don't think we can put this on. Ah, oh, we'll keep it. See if we can put it on a mech. That'd be interesting to see if we could. Armor can go. C3 will keep. 225 will definitely. We got one. We want to just get rid of this one. Go for the C bills. I think. I think so. 97,000. Not too bad. And double heat sink. We will probably keep because we're running a lot of double heat sinks. Flak will definitely hang on to, because this can go into the minus one recoil. Yeah, we can put this right into the um, Marauder too. Right, bonus evasion ignore. Minus one recoil, that'll be definitely helpful. Okay, so not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, 39,000, that's not too, too bad. Holopolis, I'm interested to see how long it's going to take to fix that thing. What are we looking at here? Six days. Okay, so it's not too, too bad. Um, so I want to get all these guys back f first. So let's go with... Hmm. Yeah, let's just keep it at five. Talos didn't even get hit this time. Interesting. Yeah, we'll keep it at five. Marauder's back in 14. We're not going to have money to put that thing together just yet anyway. So hopefully we can milk this planet for a little more got our financial report which is beautiful so now all the money that we get um, for the next couple of episodes will definitely be going right into the Marauder to get that up and running once that's is up once that's up and running then um, we can look forward to um, maybe going to do some more of those uh, uh, planetary skirmishes but uh, I think I'm going to leave this episode here guys um, before we go I'm just interested to see if we have any LBX ammo uh, components. Man, my drive is like, my internal, it's like, it sounds like it's clearing a cache or something. I know it's not doing, like there's nothing else. I don't have any tasks that I've got set that it should be grinding like it is, but it's just decided it needs to grind for some reason. I don't think we have LBX ammo. No, we don't. Okay, so the LBX is out of the, out of the question then. I don't think we have any in the store here either. Pretty sure I didn't see any in the store. Although now that I know we've got it, we can keep our eye open. Look man, Von Lochner, 75 tons. But that's not even like... 
three five movement and you got to get close and it's like i know it's got an ac20 but it's so slow is it going to get close enough full griffin four thousand four million won't get it before the end of the month but four million for a griffin uh what else is there here large laser no thank you yeah not a lot left here so um yeah going to end the episode here, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.